Esports betting is the newest kid on the sports book market and is predicted to surpass traditional sports betting such as football and basketball. Just like top traditional sports players, many are multi-millionaires enjoying global fame and fortune. The leading video game brands include Dota 2, Overwatch, League of Legends and Counter-Strike Global Offensive, also known as CSGO, uh, each game having different betting strategies. Here to break down CSGO betting Betting for the beginner is CSGO betting expert Adam Booth. Adam, thank you for being here today. Yeah, good afternoon, Natalie. Great to be uh, joining you guys from, well, sunny England. Not as sunny as Costa Rica, but still pleasant. Nice to hear you're enjoying some sun in England. Uh, don't often hear that, but uh, now CSGO is one of your main uh, games to bet on, and you say you've made quite a bit of money. Uh, what are we talking about in terms of units? Um, well, I began making it my primary uh, sport last summer, uh, and I had a very humble uh, goal of three units per week uh, on average. Uh, but the last two months have far surpassed that uh, that goal, and I've made well over 50 units. And this is all just one and two unit uh, size bets. So I know that uh, it's, it's a viable sport for consistent long-term profits. I've spoken with other uh, people that are making a splash uh, in uh, not just CSGO but uh, other other sports as well games, and we're we're starting to uh, you know break out, and uh, I think that it's great that SBR is taking the step to uh, recognize it and to uh, help the uh, the the average uh, sports better. Now, what sets CSGO betting apart from the other leading games? Would you say? Well. The, uh, the ease with which um, someone can turn on uh, a stream and understand the objective of the game, uh, you know, it's, it's a terrorist versus counter-terrorist uh, strategy game uh, shooter. And, you know, a as far as entertainment value, you can, uh, li like watching any action movie, you can get into the, the perspective of that first-person shooter and see what they're seeing and uh, understand the the skill that it takes to do what they do. Um, so the entertainment values there, as far as uh, from a betting perspective, um, CSGO offers matches 24-7, 365 days a year. And um, the, the attraction um, uh, compared to other sports, or sorry, other uh, esports um, is with the popularity of the game uh, to begin with. So that's awesome. So there's basically something to bet on every single day of the year. Uh, describe uh, CSGO in a nutshell uh, for those who uh, are unfamiliar of the game. Sure. Sure, I'm happy to. Um, so it's a five versus five uh, team-based shooter uh, in which uh, one organization uh, starts on the terrorist side and the other organization starts on the counter-terrorist side. And the objective uh, is for the, uh, one team to reach 16 rounds. And they do that by either eliminating the opposing team or by uh, planting uh, an explosive or, and detonating it or by defusing uh, said explosive if you're on the counter-terrorist side. So the objectives of the game uh, in round to round are very easy to pick up. Um, you know, I, I started watching it just as a former Counter-Strike player from 1.6 days 15 years ago uh, and came back to it uh, two years ago, saw the evolution of the game, but the, all the basics are there. Okay, so you were a player of the game. How did you get into CSGO betting? Um, well, about two years ago, I was a member of a, a sports betting club and uh, another colleague of mine uh, posted a prediction on our, our website about uh, a major tournament that was going on and he posted a pick and I happened to watch the match, which I tend not to do because it takes up time. Um, but I watched that match and was just enthralled by the excitement of being a former gamer. You, you can understand the skill level it takes to do what some of these professionals were doing. And uh, then over the, that following year, I, I just continued to uh, do my research and, uh, and follow the teams. And then last summer, felt confident enough to 
go public with some of the systems that I created and uh, just for CSGO and uh, that's how it began. All right, so I know like in soccer or football, you've got sort of main betting markets that we focus on. There's a whole host of them, uh, but there are main ones that we focus on. Uh, what are the main uh, betting markets in CSGO betting? That's a great question, and it's something that often intimidates um, people that are new to esports. But honestly, it's very straightforward, and um, once you learn them, listen to this, you'll, you'll never forget it. So the there's six main ones. Um, you've got your uh, money line bet for a match, which is just uh, one of two uh, options: team A wins, team B wins. Uh, then you've got a match handicap, which similar to a tennis handicap for set betting, you're you're betting the underdog either to win uh, one map or the match, you know, one one map or two, or you're betting the favorite to win two zero, uh, you know, not give up a map. Uh, then the third one is your uh, total maps, so you're either betting over the, that the series will go over two and a half maps to a third map, or it'll go under, meaning one team will win. Two zero, and then uh, you've got so those are the three on the match overall. Uh, then the, the next three are on individual maps. Uh, so you've got a, a map one money line, meaning you think team A will just win that specific map. Um, then you've got a a rounds handicap for indi individual maps, meaning uh, I think team B will come within six rounds of team A. So it, if you know that the winner has to get to 16 rounds, that means all team B has to do is get to 10 rounds to cover for you. Uh, if it goes to overtime, a team can only win by four rounds. So if it goes to overtime, your bet is safe. You don't have any of those bad beats like you see in basketball where you, know, it, you needed to cover four points. They're tied at the end of regulation, and then you lose it in overtime. That won't happen. Um, and then the the, the Sixth and final um, is your total rounds for a map. So you're either betting over 26 and a half rounds, which is sort of the standard kind of like five and a half goals in ice hockey. That's your, your average. Uh, or you're betting under 26 and a half rounds. So either team A gets 16 and team B gets 10, meaning you've got 26 total, or team A gets 16 and team B gets 11, meaning you've got 27 and it goes over the total. Um, those can be very tricky, that, that, that final mark can be very tricky uh, simply because uh, it can come down to pistol rounds. And, you know, I saw in one of my bets today, I bet on the over in the match, expecting the underdog to put up a great fight and the underdog won two convincingly and one straight up and uh, won 16-7 or something like that. So. Um, but those are your six markets. They're very easy to understand. And as long as the books that you're using have those six markets, you can make money in this business. All right, interesting stuff. And I tell you, uh, do head on over at uh, sportsworldpreview.com. Um, Adam's written an article as well, breaking down those uh, top set six uh, betting markets. Uh, if you guys want to check that out, uh, I will be putting the link uh, in the description to his article. Uh, very interesting read there. Now, listen, I am a traditional sports better. Why should I and other traditional sports bettors look to esports to bet on, apart from being able to bet on every single day of the year? Why should we bet on esports now? Multiple reasons. The first that always comes to mind is the uh, sheer volume of matches being offered. Um, meaning that, you know, when I look at, um, you know, the hockey games that are offered in today's Stanley Cup finals, there's one game for the day. You could say, you know, uh, Winnipeg or Las Vegas could win that game. There might be more value on Vegas as a road dog, but you only have that one game being offered and people will relentlessly bet it because they want that action. In in CSGO today, I've got 25 different matches from six different tournaments. You know, I'm just uh, ballparking and that gives me the option to find value. And that's something that can't be understated as a sports better. You need to find great options because we know how hard it is to uh, to win, let alone to win consistently. Yeah, you make a very good point there, especially the value. Uh, that's something that we do. Uh, traditional sports betting as well is look for that value. Uh, what other reasons are there uh, why us traditional sports bettors should sink our teeth into esports betting? 
Well, uh, an another reason is the, the number of underdogs, uh, very juicy uh, prices given for uh, teams that are often, um, you know, they've got a 50% a 50, 50 chance to win it and they're, they're being given, you know, plus 250 odds. And when you can identify uh, that an underdog, uh, you know, that is given, an, sorry, a team is given an underdog price, when in reality they should be favored or, um, you know, it's a, a coin flip, um, this is a match you would say, uh, I, I can hammer it or I can just uh, be moderate, but you can, you can follow it over the course of the next five to seven days because you have the same uh, pool of teams competing uh, within that uh, tournament. So uh, an underdog team like we'll, we'll see in this current Dallas tournament uh, coming out of the, the day one, day two matches, they'll continue being offered as underdogs against the favorites who are perennial favorites simply because they've got the the uh, high value names and players and, you know, they have past results that have shown they can win tournaments. But um, as we know in sports betting, they're, even though a team can be a favorite or an underdog, there's only two possible outcomes. So, you know, underdogs do win and... Um, you can hit a lot fewer winners uh, with a lot nicer prices uh, by just finding that, that great value. All right, very nice indeed. Now listen, so you, you've told us a little bit about CSGO. Uh, you've told us sort of the types of bets we can make. Um, obviously, we're going to be following you. Uh, you said there's the uh, Dallas tournament that's happening right now. Uh, we will be moving on um, after this video to another video uh, where we're going to look at the futures. Um, and then Adam will also be back uh, to give us um, some, um, at the playoffs, um, some bets there as well uh, to look at. But for those, again, in preparation uh, for esports betting, especially uh, CSGO, what are the best bookies right now that we should look to opening an account for? Uh, that's a great question. Um, so the first book that I, I ever started using was in 2011. I deposited with Pinnacle. It was recommended uh, to me by um, uh, an employer at the time who was an avid sports better. And I've never uh, left them since. And it's, it's worked out well because they've made a real uh, effort to uh, be dedicated to the esports world. They, have, they call it their esports hub. And they have hundreds of articles um, written by uh, experts in, in the domain. Um, so I recommend to anybody starting there, if they're accepted in your country, you have to go to Pinnacle. Um, some other uh, great books that I've used um, over the past couple of years, uh, Bet365, uh, Nitrogen, uh, uh, Betway. Um, I'm just pulling up. Uh, I've also used Intertops, William Hill. Uh, these are books that, uh, you know, they're, they're A-rated uh, by, by the, the SBR site, but uh, they're also uh, very dedicated to offering uh, competitive lines. So, um, but, but if I have to say one, uh, Pinnacle would be that, that uh, uh, all-star uh, book just for uh, the aforementioned reasons. All right, yes, do uh, check the SBR rating guide as well uh, for the best bookies in your country. That was Adam Booth. Uh, he will be back, uh, like I said, and check out, check on over uh, sportsbook review forward slash uh, picks for more articles. If you want to follow him as well on Twitter at LockE. Qwerty, L-O-C-K-E, and then Qwerty like the keyboard. That was Adam's first video with us. I think he did very well. Adam, it has been a pleasure to have you on and I look forward to speaking to you again. Thanks so much, guys. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry-leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now, the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.